Welcome to Brockville, Ontario, no. site of yeah, the we Curlon 2020 yeah. Mixed Doubles Provincial Championships. Oh. My name is Jason Chang, and with we me is three-time Canadian Scotties <laughs> Tournament of Hearts participant, Catherine Derrick. Catherine, good evening. Good evening to you, Jason. Well, we're into our third draw of coverage. It's actually the fourth draw of the round robin portion of this tournament. We've already seen the ice. It's curling. The players, they're settling into their second game now for this pool, the C and D pool action that we have going on on sheet six and on our feature sheet. We're sitting behind sheet three. Who do we have? So tonight, throwing the yellow stones and who will have hammer because they had the best draw to the button is uh, Lauren Wasilski and Shane Connings. And they'll be taking on uh, throwing blue rocks, Abby Saleri and Duncan McDonald. Now, fun fact, Abby and Duncan, they are the youngest team by quite a margin in this field. Yes, they are 15 and 17 years old. So what a career they have in front of them, a curling career. Absolutely. They qualified to these provincial championships by finishing runner-up at the Ontario Winter Games under-21 provincial qualifiers. Right, so they actually finished runner-up in a under-21 tournament when they were only... I think 14 and 16. I think they just had their recent birthdays recently to turn 15 and 17. Now how impressive is that? And they actually had an amazing game uh, earlier today, uh, taking uh, Nicole Westland Stewart and Tyler Stewart, one of the favorites in the tournament, down to the last end, almost pulled out a victory. So they're 0 and 1, but they're coming in with a lot of confidence after that strong game this morning. Oh, we're looking forward to a, an excellent Whoa, game in front never. of us. Can't go. No. So the first rock I has been thrown. Through. Yeah. Just a little heavy. Sorry. That's fine. Each team does have a six minute practice prior to the game, so it gives them an opportunity Faster. just to feel out the ice a little Faster. bit, to feel out draw weight, to feel out the curl of the ice. And um, so both teams up. do that, and they have a it's draw to the button the at the end of their six okay. minute practice to decide who has hammer, meaning who gets the last rock in the first end. Yeah, and uh, Shane and Lauren, they put their rock on the forefoot, I believe. They uh, had an excellent draw to the button. And so that gave them the option to take last rock, which Go they did. Here. Okay, we're ticking. And it's not that unusual to see teams throwing the first couple of rocks in the first end heavy. The ice does keen up and speed up over the two practices and then into the first end. It sure does. Okay. Thank you. So this one, she, she ticked the front, the center guard, which isn't horrible. The, she now has two corner guards to work with. Sorry. If we had done by, it would have tapped us out. Yeah. So. When yeah. you have hammer, that's a good thing. Yeah, for sure. When you've got hammer, splitting off the corner guard or center guard is excellent. Keeping the center open. Duncan McDonald throwing his first rock of his second game of these provincial championships. Wait only. We were talking to them earlier, and uh, I think they're really thrilled to be here, but they're also quite calm about it, too. That's a good mentality to have, is to enjoy the moment, but also you got to stay focused in your game. Stay focused. Do you want to draw, or do you want to like? We do have off? six games in action, like and as mentioned, we are featuring the, the pool C and pool D games uh, during this draw. The teams out of this feature sheet are from pool D. This pool includes. The teams on our sheet, Wazilki and Connings and Solari and McDonald, as well as Westland Stewart and Stewart, McGovern and Steep, Hobson and Tippett and Nicholson and Hickling. We'll try to keep you updated on all the scores. 90. Probably lost. Yeah, the standings in Pool D after that opening draw, they played at 12 p.m. earlier today. Westland Stewart and Stewart, Wazilki and Connings, Hobson and Tippett winning their opening matches. So they're at 1-0. and oh. Nicholson and Hickling, Salary McDonald, McGovern and Steep dropping that opening match. 0-1 oh, start for them. Six teams uh, in six, the four shot. pools. Okay. Okay. So you get five round robin so. matches. And then the top two teams out of each pool will qualify for the quarterfinals. And if there are ties for those qualification okay. spots, tiebreakers may be necessary. You're up. How much? Back eight. Got a curl. Abby right. and Duncan are from the Grimsby Curling Club. Get back eight. Back four. Whoa. Coming down. Yeah, curl it. Yup. It's a good looking shot from yeah, Duncan. It looks like a great shot. Nice shot. Yeah. Very nice. 
Duncan. Duncan. Right to the back of the button. Duncan. It will be very difficult Pardon? to remove that stone with yep. those catchers at the back. Lauren and Shane are from the Toronto like Cricket that. Skating Curling okay. Club. Curling Club. I think they lose there. Just a little off nose. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're running. You want me a sweep? Yeah. They've been pretty active in the mixed double circuit this year. I think they played in three or four bond spiels. They have a quarterfinal finish in Brampton, a semifinal in Ilderton. And they're ranked number 27 in the Canadian yeah. mixed doubles ranking system. They've been playing together mixed doubles for three years, and they actually met 11 years ago uh, curling. They met after a TCA curling spiel. That must have been with a youth spiel. Yes, it was. 65. How much? 65. Back line. Whoa. It's close. Shane close. looking Three. to play a tap, I believe. Yep. Hard. Hard. Yellow. Ah, oh, shoot. Onto the blue. Okay. It overcurled just a little bit at the end. Here. Blue still shot stone. Do you like going on ours? Yeah. Curling way harder okay. than last yeah. game. Even Not way. a bad yeah. shot. Expected to run really smooth. Same way. Yeah, yellow same. sitting second and same. third same. shot, okay, maybe even line. fourth shot. But most importantly, they actually removed some of the backing off with that tap. So blue's got to be a little bit careful now where they place these stones. Touchdown. Felt like less. Touchdown. Lines less. Yep. Yep. Yesterday, Duncan, he won the zones for his school team. So he's been busy these last From couple Bless days. Trinity, absolutely. What do you like? Same shot, basically. I was tighter on yeah. that one, but it just yeah, a little more weight. I think it was a little bit quieter than they wanted. I think they wanted it that uh, fully into the rings, but it actually does block off the pick on that blue shot stone right now. No, with my arm, the wire's not my side. What do you think here, Catherine? A run back, that short run back, yellow onto blue? I will see how the speed that he's letting it go. A little more. Oh, yeah. Same. It's a... Uh, be a soft, yep. a softer type of run back, a yeah. tap, tap maybe. Touch more. Whoa. Looks like Whoa. a back line to hack kind Whoa. of weight. Line looks pretty good from my yep, angle. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yellow onto blue, tap okay. it back, sit shot stone. Very, very nice. Very nice shot. We second? We're second. Okay. Uh, okay. Blue is line second yeah. shot. They've got to be a little careful though. Yeah, okay. That tap tap again is yeah. there. Okay. I think that's what they're going to protect against. Yeah, that's what Abby was. Um, uh, I think Abby changed Duncan's mind and said, why don't we just guard it? Let's give them their one and uh, we'll have Hammer in and yeah, the end two. experience of the 17-year-old coming through there. <laughs> Got to listen to the experienced yeah. one. <laughs> That's right. Just this side of center. Yep. And girls are always right. That's what my wife tells me. Take a little bit less than edge eight. Abby got hooked by curling by watching the 2010 Olympics when they were in Vancouver. She, she has no one in her family that curls, so oh, she, interesting. she got hooked and she's been curling ever since. Well, actually, same kind of similar sort to me. Um, no one in my family curls either. I got hooked by watching the Briar and the Scotties back in the early 90s. There's so much television and exposure and online streaming available okay, that it's uh, it's really promoting our sport. Abs nice yeah, uh, you're absolutely right. And what a nice guard there. That protects that tap, tap, tap situation. So how does Shane and Lauren get in there for another point or get that blue run off the back of the button? Good job. Do you think there's a raise? I know it's not their rock, but a raise double on the blue. So hitting that blue stone on the top right just into like that blue. It's a little dangerous much, though. Yeah. It's, it's always dangerous driving an opponent's stone into the rings. Dangerous. Yeah, just off nose here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now they're, the now they're looking okay. at just off the nose of the yeah. guard so that was just thrown. It's curling more, right? So yeah, blue yeah, onto yellow, onto things. yellow, onto blue. It's a little bit of a more complex combination, but definitely safer. Definitely safer.
You like that? Lauren just wanted to give a shout out to her family if they were watching back home. The first end, final stone. Lauren was ilky. Looking for a Whoa. tap, 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 no, tap to score down. multiples. No. Looks no. like it's hanging a little bit on her. Jiggles things up at the front, but it is one yellow. And after one end of play, Wazilki really and yeah, Connings right. up one nothing over Soleri and McDonald. Well, a nicely played first end here by both teams. Very tight, made a lot of good draws in there and uh, resulted in only one point. Unlike our, two, our first two presentations where a five was taken in the first end and a four in our last game. Yeah, so both teams seem to have maybe the second game that they've played uh, today, getting more settled into the ice and executing and more shots right at the top of the top of the game. And just the nerves settle down to yep. uh, always the first game of a of a so provincial ten, ten final five. or provincial uh, oh, awesome. is 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 tough. Exactly, it's I, tough. Exactly, and I I know there were a bunch of teams and certainly the younger teams that we featured uh, in the last two draws. Uh, probably their first adult provincial championships okay, because those would be under 21 curlers. 12, like heavy. Whoa, 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 sorry. Back 12. Whoa. So Lauren is trying to come around, freeze. Yeah. And it looks like it's uh, right on point. Should be okay, yeah. It taps the blue rock whoa, back careful. a little bit. That's just fine. Follow him. So For maybe you can comment on why Duncan was sweeping that blue one out. Yeah, so I think uh, Duncan wanted to create a little bit, well, two things, two reasons. One is if she, he could have actually swept it completely out, it would go back. And that being of the new, of the free guard zone? The free guard or the modified free guard zone rule in mixed doubles. Yeah, that's a little different than regular play. Yeah, so no rocks can be removed from play until the fourth thrown stone. So whether it's a guard or whether it's in the house, you cannot remove rocks completely out of play. So Duncan trying to sweep that back a little bit, trying to get it out of play. And of course, even getting a little bit more separation uh, helps them too. Creates a little bit more room in the forefoot. Mm -hmm. Allows them to tap back that yellow stone, which no, they just back, did. Back, back 12, back line. Okay. So the major difference of the free guard zone modified rule We're here to compared again. to the regular players We're is you cannot hit again. the rock that's in We're the house. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You can't hit it out. Are we? I just want to freeze, right? Yep, yep. As we've Wait, seen in our two yep, previous no, draws, one. look at this curl that we have on the intern. It just comes in so, so nicely. Yeah, this one's going to wreck. Again. Yeah. And that's uh, a bit of an opening you now for Soleri and McDonald. Yeah. Yep. Opportunity to get a second stone into the rings. I think they'll try to get it up a piece buried top, top of the eight foot behind eight. that yellow guard. T. Let it curl. <laughs> T. Let it curl. Duncan wanted to give a shout out to Coming his. Down. Grandmas and grandpas who uh, he believes are watching. And they should be very proud of this young man. He's Whoa. a very good curler. Whoa, we're there. Well, hello to grandma and grandpa, wherever they are. Nice shot. And look at this shot, grandma. Nice shot. Corner frozen onto their own. A little bit deeper than they Forward wanted. Control, there might be an double. opportunity for a double, but um, have to be careful. It might still jam on the back yellow stone. By hitting this uh, blue stone, the top blue stone on the left-hand side on your screen, it will actually drag the back blue stone. Depending on how much drag, you may not make the double. We'll see yeah, what they play. I, so I, like I can't imagine them, them not moving things around. Playing some sort of a hit. Yeah, they're playing uh, this with quite a bit of weight. Lauren's backed right off of it. I think they're looking for some more curl. Picks off the top rock. Same thing. We've seen this in yeah. the previous games. The minute that you up your weight, it seems to run a little bit straighter. Weight. Mm -hmm. Very it's weight like sensitive. Very uh, weight sensitive. Hog to hog, sorry. Yeah. Uh, 20? No, 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 like, uh, oh. sorry. <laughs> it felt a little off. Maybe a touch touch more. more. Yeah. 
Duncan trying to replace the shot he just played, maybe leaving it a little higher, but uh, Abby indicating it's a little bit more weight. He's a little wider on this too. That might actually take the weight off of it because if it's a different path. It is still pretty close. Okay, once you're there, whoa. Almost the same spot? Yeah, almost the exact same but spot. But with normal though, I might be able to like thin double, right? Yeah, so you saw me a sweep? Tick, yeah. <laughs> they just keep cutting. Yeah, they cut at the end. Shane yeah. wanted I to give a shout out to his mom and dad and his grandparents who will be watching back home in uh, Gownstown. Oh, that's just I outside of Listable, I think, right? It's normal than it was control. Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> If my geography is correct. That wasn't my best subject. <laughs> yeah, okay. Firm. Yep, yep. Hard. Shane trying to make the Hard. hit again. Try to make the double the thin way. It was pretty tough, so. Gets one of the rocks off. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same oh. thing. Take a little more ice. Yeah. More ice? Okay. Yeah. Just a touch. So this is his third attempt at the exact same shot. So he should know the line and he should know the weight. Same as your first. Yeah, made it perfect twice already. So mm -hmm. expect him to make it again. Uh, yeah, push. We're top eight. Okay, yes, all weight. Hard weight. They're sweeping this one for weight for a little bit too. Yeah, it's coming off a little bit. This one's just going to end up as a really tight guard. It does protect the stone that is shot stone. So I think he got out a little wider on this one, uh, Jason. So it was a different path. So it started to curl and the weight came off of it. Yeah, I think you're right. Abby seemed to indicate that uh, the weight looked okay at first, but then a little extra, hey, uh, extra center, line, and uh, the weight came off. That's fine. It's guarded. They can't. No, hit. no. I'm saying like, if we want like bury so first one, need, like top four to inches less than the normal drop. Okay. It'll just go. So make sure you're. But without last stone, this is Lauren's yellow. final rock of the end. Right? Blue is yeah. sitting shot stone, and I think they're just trying to maybe come to the top of the forefoot, freeze maybe on that blue stone, and really cut down the scoring area. 85 should be close. Okay, whoa. Looks like we're in for an exciting game. Yes. Lauren's a very accomplished oh. curler herself Top four. in the women's oh, game. Line. It's coming in now. Line's looking really nice here. It's starting yeah. to dive towards the guard. Can Shane get it by? Yes, he does. Switch, switch, switch. Now he wants yeah, to get it yeah, right yeah. to the face of the blue stone to cut down as much rings as possible. Yeah, like very that. nice shot. Yeah. Let's go. I think we can get here. Yeah, edge. Uh, yeah. There is an outturn draw, but it, again, you have to be precise and have the exact yeah. weight. And you haven't played this side all end, so it's a little bit of a guess now on the speed. We were saying how Duncan won the zones for his school yesterday. Well, Abby herself just won the OCA Provincial Championship last weekend as a skip for her school team from the Grinsby Secondary School. All Congratulations right. to her. Congratulations, yeah. And the team. Yeah. Final stone of the second end. Abby Soleri trying to hit full forefoot to score two against Wazilki and Connings. We're up. Should I sweep past it? Looks, up. looks a little heavy. Just a little bit heavy. Backline yeah. weight. It is one blue, but the game's tied up. One one through All two. Tied up after two. Well, of course, these teams don't want to be finished after these provincial championships. They're trying to be Team Ontario, aren't they? They sure are. And the winner of of uh, this provincial gets to represent Ontario from March 17th to the 22nd at Portage La Prairie in Manitoba. It's always an honor to wear Which your way? provincial oh, colors. Oh, it absolutely is. 
anytime you can wear your provinces or your country's colors, it's uh, it's a real honor. I know you've had a chance to do that at a three Scotties Tournament of the Hearts, uh, three I Senior Canadian Championships as well. Feels like a touch less. Big yeah. It is quite an honor. I extend it, it never gets old. Never gets old, does it? <laughs> Lots of room, wait all So way. we're underway already in the third right hand. Okay, go ahead. Got a curl. This is the last game of the day for these teams, but uh, they curl. will be out on the ice for three games tomorrow. That's right, they have a nine o'clock game, a three o'clock game, and then a 9 p.m. game like tomorrow. Sorry? It's locked on. A lot of games, yeah. five okay. games in two days just for the round robin. Why couldn't I have done that on my last? What? Why can't I have done that on my last one? Really nice shot by Abby, putting okay. it into the top of the yep. button area. Laura tried to follow her down. Where? Line only. Okay, whoa. Back four. Whoa, wait only. Back four. No, off, off. Um. Just a little bit heavier. Might just tick it. Follow them? Yeah. Uh. Okay, top okay. four. Yeah, tolerance light. Okay. Yeah, speeding up. Or? It just chaps off the blue one and rolls to the back 12, but uh, six around in play, you never know. That could come back and count later in the end. But right now, it gives Duncan an opportunity to draw a second one behind that center guard. Don't really want to. Okay, well. Duncan started curling when he was just five years Let old. His it. parents ran the little rock program in Grinsby, so he started to Let curl. curl. <laughs> he got dragged out, I guess. <laughs> They're getting younger and younger. Okay, whoa, whoa. Good looking rock by Duncan. Try to freeze this right onto the top of the button. Sorry, I thought it was going to finish like right Same way. He definitely seems to have his draw weight. Yes, I'm very impressed so far by this young team. And you know what's impressive, Jason, is the communication that they seem to have between each other. We can hear them um, just discussing every shot, every line, every weight, uh, which is really quite impressive for such a young team. Yeah, you don't see that a lot. Uh, the, you know, that comes with a lot of experience, learning how to communicate with your teammates. It but sure does. Maybe it's because they've known each other for such a long time. Yeah, they've known each other. Believe it or not, they've been curling together for I 10 mean, years. Really? They, st they both started in the Little just Rock program. Oh, and besides fine. all that, they're they're neighbors, so they've they probably play in each other's backyards too. Yep, hard, hard. Okay. Shane trying to move some of those blue stones oh, back. We're two. That's Can a I good shot. Okay. The yellow, the yellow's there. always there to come oh, off of, if need be, at the no, end of the, the uh, at the end of the oh. end. You could come and sit here. The one out there curls. Or curl like here. And get back to uh, and curl like I'd rather go yeah. this way, yeah. Okay. See, again, the All communication 12, is really good. Tolerance. They're trying okay. to decide exactly where to put this rock, so they're both on the same page. They'll know where to sweep it to. They Wait decided to draw another Wait rock up. into the rings. All the way. Positioning's important here. There are three yellow stones that they're leaving in play by making this draw, so you have to be careful not to leave a double or a triple. Whoa, 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 whoa. Potentially, but it doesn't get us. No. If it's rock. Yeah. Very nice line. If we hit up our yellow, let's see they're just jams or it comes back into those. I think we just want to tap freeze. Like yeah. small tap, yeah. So they're just going to play a small tap. They know it will curl. If you have the right weight, it will curl in enough. Hmm. Was there any other options here, Jason? I think they looked at seeing whether you could so actually a play a left. double, but I think they decided that jams. Yeah, quite a, quite a bit left. So a tap is a good call here. They could also come in off of their own Yellowstone, but maybe they don't need to play that yet. They could save that for a little bit later in the end. 80. Wait's Whoa, good. No. Back four, it's coming down. Yep, yep. These games are timed. Each team gets 22 minutes of thinking curl, time. Curl, curl. And they're also whoa, 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 allowed whoa, 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 whoa. two 90 second whoa, timeouts. Way too heavy. Nice tap by Shane. How many are we? They're one. 
Okay. So thinking time for those of that are, are, are watching that don't quite understand what that means. That actually means the thinking time. Once the rock has left the player's hand at the back line, the clock stops and only starts again once the rock has stopped and the the players that have thrown the rock have left the house area. Yeah, so the traveling time of the rock right now is not counted in that thinking time. So it doesn't penalize a team that likes to play more soft shots that take a longer time to uh, throw compared to the teams who like to play a lot more hits. Yeah. Try to you basically it, almost yeah. just draw and... Okay. You should have guarded this little. side on your last. Okay. Or it wouldn't be bad, I guess, to tap Yeah, Duncan said... Uh, or Abby said Duncan move, just right, popped that rock. Yeah. What that means is he like, like, top threw that rock but gave it a little bit of an oh, outside oh, motion on release and that the sent the rock a little bit wider than intended. Made the hit but actually pushed the yellow stone who was shot rock further in and I don't think that yellow rock is going to be able to be removed. Yeah, I don't think that was the result he wanted on that shot. The only good thing is he's left his shooter right there so it does cut off a bit of that path to get another one in. I think Shane's going to try to get another one in there. Yeah. Looks close. No, we'll need to come line. pretty tight to the guard, I think. No line. The release no of the line. rock is one of the most important no parts line. of your complete delivery. No. You can be on the broom all the way Just out, back. and if you release it with an inward motion, it's going to overcurl, right. and an outward motion, it won't curl enough. I think Shane was just was a like little bit heavier really? than yeah. intended there. Way too much yeah. Didn't curl up as much as he wanted to. Um, but, like mid? but a rock that he can promote. Yeah. I kind of like, like back eight. Yeah. You had nine. Okay. Yeah, 70, 80, 90. Well, one rock left for each of the teams, so. Yes. Abby's going to be throwing this one, their last rock of this end without last stone. In a 1 1 tie after two ends of play. There's some late movement here, so if she just gets by the top guard tight, it might curl in enough to become shot. Very precise shot. Just back line. Oh, really needs to curl. Whoa. No, it's not coming in. Whoa! She is a bit out there. I don't think she's going to get much of a result out of this. Probably going to go by everything. We could hear her say that she had a lot of handle. So what does that mean, Jason? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Oh. <laughs> it was just spinning. She spinned uh, it too much, yes, so it stays a little bit straighter. That's right. The more you spin a rock, the straighter it uh, it travels. A little bit of a humorous mistake out there. Duncan thought that was the last stone and gave up a steal of one. In fact, uh, and then Lauren actually says, yes, one yellow. But uh, Lauren actually has one more stone left. <laughs> Try to get two. She'll probably make a bit of a tap on that yellow stone on the right-hand side, you think? And I was throwing, like, just outside of the four. I think oh, that really? would be the okay. sh like uh, the shot like to play. That back yellow rock there. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty close. Just a hair more maybe. Okay. Can they spread it? No. All right, so this is the final stone of the end. Yeah, go Lauren Wazilki looking to make a tap. Whoa! Whoa, 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 no. Line is close. What about half a Looks very close. Yeah. Don't let yeah. it overcurl. Oh, they might have. No, it still looks close for for line. Tap it back. It needs to stay right there. One, one, Just chaps Three. off a little bit too heavy, maybe. If they swept it earlier, they may have been able to hold the line wider and get a better angle on that tap and mm -hmm. get the two. Yeah, they got off it for just a little bit, and uh, I, I agree with you. If they would have stayed on, I think she would have made the shot. Yeah, I think that may have been a little bit of not knowing exactly how much weight it had. I think Shane, thinking it was a little heavy, backed off a little bit, and same with uh, Lauren. But uh, So they did take their one. So they are now up 2-1, to one going into the fourth end. So Soleri and McDonald now have Hammer. What time is that? 80. 
Let's well, you know right away. It was like back For line. those of that are listening like, that are yeah, new to the sport, to we keep talking about hammer and all that means is just they have the last rock of the end. That's right. I don't know where that term came out. I but, don't know uh, either. <laughs> we'll have to do some research and get back to you on that one. Yep. Well, it's certainly been ingrained into the curling vernacular for sure. Both We're Lauren and Shane are sweeping this one. Line looks good. Follow him. Weight looks great as well. Very nice shot. What was that? Follow them. Yeah. That's a team shot. Yes. <laughs> now we were talking about how there's uh, 24 teams at these provincial championships. Six teams in pools of four, uh, four pools with six teams in each of them. The national championships are, are actually even a bigger event. There's 32 teams that end up going to the national championships. And that is a lot. There's a, a variety of ways to qualify. One of which is to win your provincial championship. That's what we're doing this weekend yes. at the Curl on yes. Mixed Doubles Provincials here at the Brockville Country Club end. <laughs> oh, what a great shot. Sorry. I misjudged that. One. They're one. We're one? They're one. Okay. Which way? Sorry. Okay. Really nice shot. Amazing I mean, Duncan's there. apologizing that he yeah. maybe yeah. should have swept it a little Maybe's bit earlier, but off, uh, yeah. he did a pretty good effort to get that as far as he did. This young team is, is quite impressive. Change just trying What's to come really down and home? get what, another one in there also. No. Yeah, I think corner freeze. Corner freeze, that'd be a great mm. shot. Oh yeah, sorry. Hanging out there a little bit. It's starting to curl now. As the weight comes off of it, will it stay on the corner or roll off? Okay. Just rolls off a little bit. So yeah, that was the weight. If they're looking for a four, five, four, ten. Yeah? There's still one. Can we tap it? Draw this one. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, Duncan, I need my gripper. Don't throw it, don't throw it, don't throw it. Thanks. Well, the ice makers have done a fantastic job preparing the ice Good. for this championship. There's a little bit less than edge. Lots Just of keep. curl on both yeah. sides of the sheet, going outside in, inside out as well. The rocks look very lively here at the Brockville Country Club. Lots of shots can be made. Yeah, I was talking to Matt, the Iceman here, and uh, he was saying that they actually do a full scraping uh, on every sheet between every single game. You're down. So that definitely allows us to have the best ice conditions available. Mm -hmm. Our coverage is only on sheet three, but what we've seen of sheet three, it's just a beautiful sheet of ice. Nice curl, it's very weight sensitive. But uh, if you throw the right weight, it uh, will do, will finish off very nicely. Yeah, you can say it's a little bit is unforgiving, but it, what that really means is it rewards good shots being made. And we are seeing a lot of good shots this game on both teams. I also so think Shane, we, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, Shane Connings is trying to put another one in there again. Yep. Yeah, trying to do that same corner freeze again, I think. They're both sweeping it this time, but weight looks pretty good. So does the line. This one looks almost perfect. Coming into the top of the rings, right to the four foot corner frozen onto the blue. Very nice. That blue one is now okay. quite vulnerable. Very lonely. <laughs> ah, it's real hard. Blue does have hammer. <laughs> you could try that, but then they just... I'd like that. <coughs> Is there a way to jam it and lose ours? Yeah, like that jams. Come take a look. Can we peel? They just run that. Okay. They're taking just a little bit longer on this uh, call. Uh, I they just want to make sure here. that they can take the point. Then I think we need to try that. Okay, peeling the guard or t wicking the guard's fine. Where were you running for? Just outside edge four. Okay. Well, the discussion was 
recognizing that that blue rock is so vulnerable, what do you do? And this is a good call. If you can make this shot, just touch that blue and freeze it onto that stone that is shot rock right now at the back of the button. That'd be an excellent shot. Yeah, Abby needs to get this by the guard. I think it is crashing. Duncan moves it over and ideally guards the yeah, vulnerable a, shot. Yeah, that is a good miss. Very good miss. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't want to peel the guards because yeah, that totally blocks the uh, the, the yellow right? blue our takeout. Yellow, our blue goes missing four. Yeah. But you've opened it up and then the guards there. You're good. I have one more, right? No, because I need to play no. with weight. And no. Do you no? think there's a hole you there, Jason? To, to yes, I do. I don't know. <laughs> it's very small. Very very small. Placement yours one two. Okay, one. well that's four. So you threw them in the wrong order. Sorry. What? 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 I think if you just guard, which is I think what Shane and Lauren are indicating, it'll be quite tough for Blue to score in this end. Yeah, You've got shot stone on the I back of the button like, right I now. Yeah, okay. And I can't do that with that blue rock there. I like the guard. So guard is the call. If you had easier access to that yellow blue tap, you definitely would play it. But uh, given that that wick prevented that shot, I think uh, a guard is well advised at this point. Yeah, finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And mission accomplished. You like the double tap? The yellow? Yeah. You need to hit a nose. Of the on it. Nose. Nose. Um. Two thirds, eight foot. Yeah, just back four weight. So they were talking about hitting the the yellow that was just thrown right on the nose. Yeah. Curl it. Curl it so you can pick at least, because I've gotten to that. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, you're not even on it. Whoa, whoa. I can sent this a little bit wide. Yeah, he was just saying that he gunned it, meaning that he threw more weight than what he wanted to. It curl with more weight. The only other way in is off of that one. Back line hack. Right? Yeah, it doesn't curl with hack. I hit where I was aiming. Could always, nah. Just like, the only way in is off of that blue. So do we put one here? Then you're giving them uh, I don't know. So Lauren and Shane are like just looking here. at their options yeah, now. Yeah, I like up there. They're gonna, I think they're right gonna here. put another guard so up just so that no uh, yeah. Abby yeah. Solari so won't have the one. same right. shot that uh, Duncan just tried. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Yeah. There is still a that blue guard that's way on that left side of the sheet. Maybe like you can come in off of that and move okay. move the blue in. Very dangerous though, with all those yellows in there. Yeah. On the outside edge of that yellow. Yeah. I think both teams would be happy with just this one point. Yeah. Lauren and Shane will be happy to steal it, and I think that uh, Abby and Duncan will be happy to concede it. Should be a good weight. Do you see anything else, Jason, for uh, Abby's last rock? I don't see much else. Line's fine. I play tight. Whoa. It's tight. Oh, just let it stop. Okay, little rub if you can. Certainly no other shots I, I would advise playing. No. Everything else seems more, way more dangerous or way too dangerous to play. I don't think I have anything. Okay. okay. Duncan's looking at this in off That's now. Tight. Wow. That's you, risky. You could try that. Yeah, you're going to there. Are the same. <laughs> That's risky. It is yeah. very risky because there is that only one blue in there. I'm going to go There's in another one in the back, but. It's going to go in and talk you think you can do it with? Yellow like is first, third, and fourth. I mean, like, there's no risk, right? I'm not hitting that through there. Yeah. Well, it depends if there's a hole it? there. Uh, yeah. If there's no hole, then hit here. Like, then it's much less anywhere risky. Anywhere we hit it, we still only give up one max, right? Here. Yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, where am I putting? Where would you want the broom? Like S. They are gonna try the in off. They. A little more. I think they've concluded hold? that there is no danger. Abby, do in you other want words, sweeping? 
the the yellow will not take more than one. Just for where the blue is positioned in there. So here comes the last rock of the fourth end, and uh, it's been a it's been a really nice, a good, fun end. Board. Tough okay, shot like to end here, but sure uh, a chance to I score, tie the game, the game, or at worst, right. to only Three give up feet. one. Three inches more at, at least they believe they'll only give up one at worst. So, don't think they would be playing this shot if they didn't think that was the case. Oh. Abby Soleri, final oh. stone fourth end, yeah. looking for a board yeah. weight in off. Duncan sweeping, need to catch about a quarter of the top stone. She's close. Maybe just overswept it a hair. It's coming across. Will it touch the yellow? That oh, makes it. Wow. And it's a great in off. Had a couple ways to make it. Made it the thin way, caught the back yellow shot stone. That was sits, outstanding. Sits the top <laughs> blue stone on the top of the button and ties up the game 2 2 after four ends of play. Wonderful shooting. I thought they may have overswept it just a little bit, but uh, just came up enough. Yeah. You guys want the break? No, okay. okay, so again, they have the option of taking a three minute uh, break after the fourth end, but we just overheard both teams saying that they opted not to take it. I think it's a good idea to keep the momentum going. Both teams are playing well. You take a three minute break and it, you know, it kind of breaks the, uh, the routine. And we've seen quite a few of the teams refuse the, uh, yep. the break. I know in regular play at Provincials, it's uh, mandatory that you take yeah. the five minute break. Yes. Having a quick peek at those time clocks you can see in the background, Wazilki and Connings uh, using up a lot more time than the kids. Only down to 10.47, they do have two timeouts, but they have used uh, about half their time, just a little bit more than half their time. So yeah. they'll We've had lots of rocks in play every end. Yeah, so not a surprise that uh, they've, they've used up half their time but they do have to make sure they watch that time clock as we get down to the last four ends. This, this one is strong enough to hit it right to the back of the 12. I thought it was gonna go out there. It was <laughs> like, back line. Right. Yeah, if it hit it a little bit more direct, it would have gone out, mm -hmm. but uh, it was on a bit, little bit of an That's angle, right. so just like the rocks can stay three. as okay. they are. Once again, you can't remove any stones from play until the fourth thrown stone. For, so for Lauren Wazicki, she is just going to try to come around that no center guard. Right it's coming in. Line should be nice. Wait only. Yep. Again, great communication between the sweeper and Wait the thrower. Only. Very nice. Very okay. nice shot. Which way do you like coming? It's up to you. I like this. Okay. That way if we wick it, we don't jam. Yeah. Very good thinking I'm here like for Duncan, which way to go. He selected on the intern yeah. because like he mentioned, okay, it, won't, it won't jam. Wait. It's his way out there though. All they gotta push it, yep. It is it coming won't. back now. Had just tee, just tee. Nice weight on it, so. The rock did curl back quite yeah, a bit. Okay. Nice shot. Thinking play ahead and roll. Yeah, I like that, sorry. Pardon? Well. It's in a pretty good spot. But Shane has the option to hit now. This is the fourth stone to be thrown in the sin. I this wonder if they will now. try to play some oh, sort yeah, of a soft hit, move that blue stone that was just played that's in such a good spot off of the top four. Shane and Lauren are looking for their second hot. win. A little big. And no. Abby and Duncan are still looking for their first no, win. Got a curl. Yeah. Hard curl. It's a soft weight tap. Trying to move this blue stone behind the tee. Okay. Shane does just that. Very nice shot. We are seeing some excellent curling tonight, uh, yeah, Jason. Very, no. very precise shots being made. They're one. Yeah. I, I should have slipped this way. 
Can we draw this way and get rid of it? No, you'd have to hit it this side of the nose. Just here? Okay. I'm quite impressed with this young man's uh, knowledge of the game. I thought that was pretty complete. Like, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Same as your last. Yeah. Touch up. Yup. Hard line. line. It just went sideways. Yup. Oh, this must have might have picked up some kind of debris. Sure. Yeah, it did jump sideways all of a sudden. It just mm -hmm. went. Crashes on the center guard. If it did pick up something, that will be the first pick that we've seen all day. You can always try to get through the hole, and if we peel, we peel. Well, Lauren and Shane contemplating like their way. options. Yeah. Right now, they are only sitting one. Like control. Okay. Draw me a sweep. Yeah. They're thinking about peeling off the guards. And if they do that, that'll give them more access to getting rocks into the forefoot. They need to remove that blue stone, that second shot right now, to score any more points. So the hole, then we're like flashing out yellow yeah. into that blue. No, 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 yeah, I, I really like this hat. We're, we might, if we just jiggle them, we might still squirt in. Yeah, I like it, you got it. Control. So just a control weight oh, hit. Nice. He might have found the hole. Oh. Nope, got one of the rocks. Put it back. What? Put it back. Okay. It's like they're sitting one, that forcing so the close. one. Yeah. Sorry? That was so close. Yeah. So I think Abby and Duncan just want to replace the guard. This is my last, yeah. yeah. Pardon? Uh, I like coming this way. Okay. You know, this this team, this young team, showing a lot of maturity. You know, they're saying, let's just force them to one. A lot of young teams will say, we need to find find a way to score. Can't give up any more points. They're sitting one. We've got to get it out. And sometimes the best decision is, they only have one. Let's just give them just that one. I am very impressed with their strategy so far. Whoa. Three, four. Okay, it's just over curling. Never. No, nice try. <sighs> same, yeah, same kind well, of weight. Well, the I right mean, idea, but over curls. I think that was one nice now. control. So I just don't want to throw too much weight less? in case we tap it into our own and yeah. want to kill them. So now the yeah, short run back is there for well, we um, the house. for Shane. If they're not nose, they double their own. Yeah, you just need to be that side of center. They do have like, to be careful right, here, though. Was, yeah, uh, the nice room wasn't bad. It just wants it to like, yeah. the same hack rate. Like, just needs to get to the inside of the nose, right? Can't hang it on the high side. Correct. It's still really risky. Little bigger. Yep, yep. hard line. I like the nice control weight that Shane's whoa, been whoa. throwing. Board. Yeah, it allows your sweeper to have a little bit more impact oh, on the yeah. stone. Hard. 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 Did they leave this one too long? They might have. Starting to overcurl now. Just touches the blue, but doesn't move it very far. Here? Still sitting shot like rock. Bump, like, shoot. Even, yeah, bumping it back, like back sitting line. here. I think that was that the sweeping error. double for three, though. Because they stopped sweeping for, for Yes. Early. But if that's there, then either way they hit it, it's jamming. I curled Even really just coming to sit yeah. on it. Yeah, I like just one. sitting and bumping it. Like Even if we're high. Yeah. So like this would be Abby Soleri's last rock. Okay. I think they want they just want to bump that yellow one back and sit one and two. Yeah, I think they were debating. I, I think Abby liked the bump back and try to sit two. Duncan was saying, you know, just freezing on top is pretty good. You've got the force. You do have to be a little careful, Catherine, if you try to make the bump. You and could so leave. What did they decide? <laughs> do not, we know? <laughs> I, I'm not sure what they decided because you could leave the double mm -hmm. if you if you play the bump. Abby seems to think that something will jam if you bump it back. That that double's not that easy. So she might be right, but. I'm not sure what they've actually decided to do in the end. We'll see Is by her weight. Side of center? Yeah. There are a lot of yellows in there. Yeah, so it's a little bit scary. Right now you only have 
shot stone. That's our, our second shot stone right now. Yellow sitting shot third and fourth. I want to go a bit. Okay, go ahead. So the last rock for Abby is on its way. Hard curl, hard curl. Curl it. Uh oh. It's okay. Is there a double there? I'm not sure. It might have just bounced off enough. Side. For three? Potentially for That's more. That's not good. For four? I don't know how much you can see outside, but if no, you hit like... We should have hit off the guard. Hit three quarters of rock on this side. Yeah. That's gone, and this should probably come off like that. I can, I can see a lot of it. You can see, like, can you see, like, over here? Yeah. Okay. Can you like hold the normal? ground? You want to hit it about three quarters. Okay. On the so they're looking at hitting side. it three okay. quarters, and I think I they know. might just be able to get them both out. You can just throw like normal firm. Yeah. Like normal, I think. Normal? Okay. About there? Nose, nose is fine. Okay. I think a little less. There's no danger in this shot, though, is there, Jason? No, zero danger. And actually, even if you don't make the double, if you nose, I think you still get your two points. Mm -hmm. Because you'll nose and stick right there. So a fairly safe shot here and a couple of options to score multiple points. So here we go. The last rock of the fifth end from Lauren Wasilski. Looks close. Hit and stick. Well, that's two. I think they'll be happy with that. Two yellow? Yeah. Well, that's the first two of the game after trading okay. singles through the first four. Wazelki uh, and Connings now lead four to two after five ends of play. Well, we have five other games on the ice, Catherine. Shall we check in on some of the scores? Sure. So on uh, sheet one, it is four to three for Corman and Wannan against Foster and Foster. On sheet two, it is five to four for Hobson and Tippett against Westland, Stewart and Stewart. On sheet four, it is six nothing for McGovern and Steep Sorry? against Nicholson and yeah. Hickling. And on sheet five, we have a three to two lead for Shipmaker and April against Wilson and Dow. And to finally, we have a three to also a three to two lead for Tap Day and uh, Evilee against Sutherland and Ryan. So Ryan close only. games Back pretty in. much Back all in. over except for sheet four, which yeah. is a six only nothing. To. Hard. Hard. And our game still very close. A two point end from Lauren and Shane gives them a two point lead as they play the sixth end. Lauren a little bit heavy on that draw freeze attempt. They didn't need to sweep it to get it by the guard. Abby now trying to come down onto the yellow stone, make a nice freeze or draw of her own. Abby and Duncan have a full three minutes uh, more time than uh, Lauren and Shane. They've been very efficient. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those young legs get up and down oh the ice quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze on it. Freeze to it. Yeah. Small tap is okay. You have a lot of experience, Jason, with mixed doubles, and it is a very fast-moving game. Yes, it is. Uh, it, you know, it is a shorter game than a regular four-person game, but uh, you're moving around a lot, and you're just as tired at the end, if not even more tired. I would, I would probably imagine even more tired. The other uh, challenge of the, the mixed doubles is you're responsible for everything. 
You're basically yep. re you're responsible whoa, whoa. for the strategy we're, we're, and the ice wait. reading and the line whoa, calling whoa, whoa, whoa. and the sweeping and the throwing. Whoa. Yep. A lot of times in a four-person team, different players might be the lead on different parts of the game. Obviously, for the strategy, the skip is is the primary person. Oftentimes, the front end will keep an eye on uh, cleaning the path, looking at the time clock to make sure the team's on time. Yeah. In a two-person game, those two players have, have to, to do, do everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what we've seen today is there's two different strategies, and is there an advantage between one or the other, or is it strictly preference? And what I'm talking about is yeah. some of the teams opt uh, not to sweep and hold the broom, where the, the thrower jumps up and sweeps their own rock. Or yeah. what we, we've seen uh, with these two teams Throw, yeah. is they they throw at an imaginary right broom the and they have right a full the sweeper one. up and down. Yeah, I think it's player preference, really. It's different Whoa. for each player. Yep. Some players really like throwing at a broom. That's the way you normally throw in a four-person game, and uh, you just get used to looking at uh, a broom to throw, and it's hard to imagine uh, an imaginary broom there. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. even if we just look at Lauren's last shot, she had asked Shane to stay down there and hold the broom for her just for that hit. Yeah, and uh, sometimes with the, the hits, uh, the, the players will like the broom. So even though normally when they're throwing a draw or a softer shot, they will have the sweeper instead of the broom, on a hit, a lot of the players will opt for the broom. What kind of way? Like firm? Yeah. And just to um, be clear to our viewers, uh, on this game, uh, both of the women are throwing the first and the last rock. But it's, again, by choice, right? By choice, yeah, that's right. Uh, we see this more often. Shane trying to make a double. Oh, what, a, wow. what a nice shot. Very nice shot. Right, right out, right out, right out. Yeah, it is the options of the team, whether the female player plays the first and last stone or the middle three. I would say most teams opt for yep. the male player to play the middle three. Is there a reason behind that? <laughs> well, I or think again, it, it's just preference. It is mostly preference, but I think uh, yeah, really. on, on average, the men seem to either enjoy hitting or can throw a little bit more weight, and you do see a few more hits in the middle position, especially those runbacks. If you're really in trouble, really? you'll need to play those double peels oh or those runbacks. And in the men's game, they typically we typically play more of those oh. shots in the, in the regular game. So I feel like the men maybe are just a little bit more comfortable with that shot. Yep. But Here um, comes a really nice it, shot it, in. Oh, another can, nice shot from Duncan. From what you can see, right? Yeah. yeah. And also we should mention, even though both of these teams have not done it yet, after every end they have the option of changing the rotation of the team. Yeah, you don't see a lot of that happening, but from time to time, a team who might be really struggling we will just change it up to see if that made it twice already. you know improves the situation. Sometimes it's just changing the, di di the dynamic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet today in our three broadcasted oh, games. Oh my God. <laughs> so Shane is attempting the uh, to just pick this blue one out. Will he catch a piece? None of it. After that nice double, he flashes one, and now Duncan. Sit on it or did he get it. a little wide there, or did it just run oh, a little straight? I, I think he's. I think Lauren was apologizing when Shane was coming oh, out. God. I think maybe Lauren was in Shane's way a little bit, and they maybe made a little bit of contact, or or Shane maybe was trying to okay, make sure top. he didn't hit her with the broom. <laughs> yeah. I really like a little tap here. Tap the stone that Duncan just played onto the back of the button. Leave the shooter in the top of the forefoot. Whoa. Gotta curl it. Curl, curl. Whoa. No roll. They have a double if we go. Can you hold the broom? On the nose? Yep. Yeah, they would have the other way too. Can you hold the broom? Hold the broom? So again, Lauren is asking Shane yeah. to hold the broom because there is like a double hit or normal? I like normal. here to get both just of the inside, blue yeah. ones out. Like it should Sorry. run. It might come up just a hair. just unfortunate that it did rub off the uh, should, should when he tapped up his own blue. Rubbed off into the open, allowing for this double. Yeah, just wanted to stay right there or get a little bit more finish. 
then this double would have been much more difficult. Tight if Lauren okay. can hit and stick, make the double, Abby will have to go onto the intern side and draw to the full four foot. So, and look at the ice she's taking, Jason, directly in the middle of the rock. So, they are anticipating no curl at all here with the up weight. Looks pretty close. I think it looks pretty close too. Blue, blue spills it out. Okay. Is it go far enough? Oh, not quite. Needed to curl up just a yeah. little bit more. No. Now there is still a shot yeah. for two. Yeah, Abby just has to tap like, this yellow okay. one back about a I'm foot to, say, like, to score her two. This is the last shot of the end coming up. Okay, what sort of weight do you think she'll throw at this? Just a heavy draw? Just a heavy draw. She wouldn't need more than just back eight. She really just has to move that rock a foot. Yeah, no need to overthrow it then. And it is partially buried, so she does need a little bit of curl. Big shot here for Abby Solari. Yep, go ahead, yep. Whoa, whoa, okay, you're good. Whoa, lots of room. Needs to curl. Really needs to curl. This looks like a nice shot. It looks really pretty close to, to me. Hard. Yes! It's coming Margin, into the rings now, trying to get a little bit more finish to push that Yellowstone Margin. back and stick the shooter. I think it's made. Very nice shot. Beautiful shot. Abby Soleri yep. comes Sorry. back with the two. We're ties all the tied game up. up. How exciting. Very yeah. exciting. I know uh, Abby and Duncan, they've got a bunch of family in the stands watching and there. I think dad was nervously watching that stone as it came down and a, a sigh of relief. Which side? It's hard to play this side. What a game. There's been great shot making on both, both teams. Oh. Here's your specialty. The power play. The power play is coming into play. Well, this is the seventh end, so with the uh, ends running down, oh. you have one option, one, like? one chance to play the power play during your game. Shane and Lauren calling it Which right way? now. Just a little. And what you see, or what the players are doing right now is just repositioning the stones. Yeah, Instead of a center guard okay. and the rock Top in the back four yeah. to start, you get a corner guard and a rock behind the corner guard on the T line. That's an advantageous position for the team with Last Rock. And so this is an interesting call. Our two previous games when yeah, the power play yeah. came into effect, the the, uh, the opposite team was had quite a, a large lead. And so they were trying to do the famous tick shot or just to move it off of the corner. Whereas since the game is whoa, tied, whoa, whoa, Abby has up. decided to just put top hers four. top four. Yes. And there's no danger of putting this in the top four because Shane and Lauren can't hit it out, this modified free guard zone. Shane and Lauren may decide to move that stone if it's in a really good spot, but I think it's not in the perfect spot. So I think they're just going to ignore it and go around the corner. Yeah, I think that's the call. Sorry, I thought that was all there. Okay, probably through. Looks like a lot of weight. Shane's backed off completely. Will it come down? I don't think so. It's always tough on a power play. You're playing a, a draw in a completely different path of the ice that you've been playing all game. Mm. Going inside out, you might think, oh, this may be a little bit slower spot, give it a little extra weight, and then all of a sudden it goes right through. That's one of the biggest difference between regular play and the mixed doubles. In mixed doubles, almost everything is into the center. Yeah, a lot of times it's a little bit of a guessing game when you're playing in a different spot of the ice in mixed doubles. You don't play that many different paths. Yeah, Lauren commenting that she rushed a little bit, thinking uh, they're a little bit tight on the time. I think they still have That's enough four. time, five four. minutes and 12 seconds on their clock and two timeouts, so it should be a lot of time. Yep. Okay, let's go. Gotta go wait. Abby and Duncan have plenty of time with eight minutes and 17 seconds, plus their two, two 90 second timeouts. I pushed it a bit, that's why. That's fine, we got two on center lines. Yep. I think they wanted that 
closer to the center line and a little bit deeper. Because otherwise, if we draw them around the corner, it's actually an opportunity for Lauren and Shane to use okay, those two way? guards that are out there. Maybe play a hit and roll now. This is the fourth kind of stone being thrown in the end, so they can the now yeah. hit yeah. and a couple of rocks to roll behind. And I think that's what he's going to do. He's throwing the intern. He's had a couple down here, so she, he should know the ice and he should know the weight. Hard. Hard. Lauren sweeping it hard. Whoa, whoa. Looks like it's close to nose. Okay. I think they were trying to roll to the corner guard. Uh, hey. Yeah. Are you all right? I almost, you almost yeah. yeah. <laughs> Control. Okay. <laughs> So now Duncan's going to try to hit this and roll under their top guard. Yeah, it's a little more weight than uh, Shane did. Close, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 sorry, my bad. Also about nose hit. That's fine. Still a mind hit. Yeah, the interesting thing about this is if they do nose hit, it, they will not be in the race. Yeah, yeah, so if they decide to hit, they've got to make a bit of a roll. Or they could just ignore that shot and play a draw. It sounds like they're drawing on this one. Yeah. So we can just draw around it. Yellow is shot stone right now. That's the Wazilki Koning, uh, Koning's shot stone. So you can ignore the blue stone. Yeah, the question is which rock are they going to try to bury around? Around their own, co uh, around the corner guard or around that staggered center? Yeah, that's better board. Uh, oh, yeah. they, I think they've changed their mind. I think they are going for the hit and try to roll on. Hard. And Hard. this isn't a bad call either. That blue stone that's right now second shot is quite dangerous. Can be easily Whoa. raised in or the other team can draw around it. But uh, as you said, the nose hit will be outside the house. Do you like here? Are they in? No. Well, this gives Solari and McDonald a, a chance to draw around their, their own stone yeah. and uh, come top four. Yep. That's putting the pressure on. Yeah. Just okay. top four. Yeah, make this draw here and you'll completely neutralize the power play. Touch up. Whoa. Touch up. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Abby indicating yeah. it's a touch up. I'm not Curl. sure it's that up. Curl it. Curl it. Probably needs to go on the sweeping, actually. Oh, I think they left it a little too long. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I think Abby got caught up with it a little bit. They were going a bit wider than most of their draws to get around that off-center guard, and I don't think she recognized that it was maybe just a little yeah. bit slower on that path. That'd be pretty good, right? Had a really good looking shot, actually. Do you want to call time? Sure. Timeout has been called by Wasilski and uh, Connings. Timeout. So they'll, they'll have a 90 seconds to decide what they're going to uh, do. I think this is a good time just, to take one of your timeouts, don't you, Jason? We're in the seventh end. It's a tied game. You have a yellow in front. Yeah, and you have two uh, timeouts to use. Uh, you know, you really should be using those timeouts when you have a long discussion, right? Because if you don't have a long discussion, there's no use of the timeout. And this is an important shot. Yes, absolutely. If they had a coach here, the coach would also come down onto the ice. Uh, I don't think they have a coach here, so the clock will just stop for those 90 seconds as they decide what to do. I kind of like just drawing around. But if they split, then we won't have that. Okay, I guess we have two guards. The only other shot, essentially, is to like try to go through the hole. Top them? Yeah. I don't and then mind we this. I like the split. Even okay. freezing to that might be our like. Yeah, if they don't, if that one's shot, I like freezing to it. If we still have two guards, okay. I think like we can come around. Yeah, yeah. they're kind of still yeah. discussing yeah. what they're okay. what they're gonna do. Like looking at that bowl, you can see higher. it. Okay, sure. Even if we tick off ours, it still might be a better result. We're yeah. good on time. 
Yeah. Actually, no, it won't be a better result because if we tick, we're tapping them behind. They got 10 seconds. Yeah, I, no, I like that. The first call. First split. split. Okay. Yeah. okay. Not gonna be. Do you know what they decided to do here? Uh, they were talking about like a split on the first, on the top yellow. Well, Try to get both well, those yellow stones onto the rings. It's back line to hack is what Lauren's calling out. Well, then that would be the, about the wait for the split. Line's looking pretty good. Move the yellow in. That moves the shot. The other yellow one spills in. Will it sit? Yes, it does. If we go here... But I think that's fourth hit. shot. So yellow is first, four. second, and fourth. You think, Catherine? Um, it's hard to tell from here. Uh, I, from here, it looks like blue is third. Just free spin. Yeah. Okay, I just have to be here. It's mine, right? So a perfect freeze here will take away the second shot. Just like here. Yes. You like that? I like that. Yeah. We could have got three of them. I was trying to sweep this over further. If you put it on the corner of that rock behind the corner guard, I think you can probably sit shot rock after this. If we, we are just have to make sure we're there. Like the thing no is, bounce, it still would leave like, Wazelki and uh, Connings yeah, a split on that rock on the top 12, biting the top eight. The they can still get yeah. two out of this situation, so. Yeah, even nose is fine. This is a very important shot for Abby. Yeah, and then I'll be buried. Yeah. Where do you think for Broom? Where was she? Uh. As she was yeah, saying, if she bounces nice. off of this yellow one, it might be a hit for three. That's right. So it's a bit of a risk-reward situation because you could hit and stick around for second or third shot and probably get away with just giving up two and come home with the hammer, use your power play, and try to score three points. This is an attempt to force the single. Abby's not happy with her release. No, she said line right away. Yes! Hard, Duncan! Duncan's holding it, though. Can he get it by? He is by. Now, what oh, about the weight? Wow, great sweeping. It is a little bit strong. Roll it. Hits the yellow, yeah, rolls fine. it to the back, but yellow still second and third shot. Not Blue bad. is shot rock, but now there is a hit for That's three. They had to go on that though. She was close to the guard. Yeah. Yeah, but then we have to get four to win. I think it's blue. Yeah. Let them make the hit first. Oh, I like how Duncan's staying positive here. I like control. Abby not happy with the results. Uh, but Duncan's like saying, you know, ball. three's not the end of the world. You do have Hammer coming home. You have the power play. And uh, they still have... See, I'm pretty sure we'll see the power yeah. play come out. And Lauren's still got to make the hidden stick. Look at the ice she's taking. Yeah, and I think that's just a function of her delivery. She's got a bit of a pop, a little bit of an outward motion. You can see right there. The rock sort of moves a bit outward first before it starts curling back in, so that's why such little ice is taken. It looks... It, will it stick around? It is rolling away, and it rolls too far, so... Two for sure. They're going to take another look at it, I think, to see uh, who's third shot. I certainly will advise the teams to confirm before moving the rocks away. Two, two for, for sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> If they're not sure, they can call a measure. I don't know. Yeah, it's blue. Blue? Okay. This two. You want to use a power play? Yeah. Okay. So it is two I for blue. Like We're well, going to use I our did, power play. I just didn't trust, uh, and the power play is going to be played by Abby and Duncan. Yeah, I just didn't trust it. It's fine. Two is good. Yeah, not a surprise here. Last end, your last chance to use the power play. And you know what the objective is. You've got to score at least two, and if you get a chance to score three, that's for the win. This has been an exciting game. Very exciting, and who knows? We might have extra curling if, uh, if a two goes on the board. Yeah. Just, just a second. Like, we don't have to rush this. Okay. Do you like top four? They're just like taking a couple of minutes to, to decide uh, what to play. Anyway. Yeah, this is a... What would you do here, Jason? You know, this is sometimes <laughs> just a feeling of what you think 
you can make. Why do you, like the split? you know, the you split like the is split? oftentimes the a good call, but if you don't make a good split, you're basically letting the other team sit three before you can actually make a hit. Mm -hmm. So, okay. if we make everything here, it's fine. No, uh, like it's a hard call. But what if I miss a split? <laughs> I'm, I'm more comfortable throwing top four. Okay, like four or five. Yep. Lauren saying she's more yeah, comfortable like throwing the top four. <laughs> Certainly not the wrong call. This this is a, one of those situations where you'll see a lot of teams play different shots on the power play. And it really does come down to the thrower. She's the one that has to throw it, and she she feels more comfortable playing the the top four. She was saying than the split. Okay. Yeah, usually a good idea to defer to the thrower. Make sure it's moving now. Whoa. Sit. Duncan's going to try to get this as far back as possible. It does sit for shot rock back of the eight foot. So yeah. the question is, where do they go? Are they going to split the rings? That's what they've indicated. I'd be tempted to draw around the corner guard. So would I. Um, how much did you take on your, the one you just threw last time? I thought I slowed it down a little bit. You took like ear last time? Not enough. Okay, so just take a little bit extra this time. Just yeah. If they do split the rings though, that's not a bad shot because well, again, um, Shane won't be able to hit it yet. Correct. I think you might see a freeze played if they make the split the rings draw. Yeah, like side four, but, like side but first yeah. things first, Abby's got to get this one into the rings. Try to get a couple. Put the pressure on. Shane and Lauren. I think ideally, like, you want to be here. I th yeah, I agree. Duncan working really hard, trying to make sure this gets into the rings. Got to go! Well, that's an end-to-end -end sweep that and is great gets sweeping. it level with the other blue rock. Nice shot. They're that's perfect nice. even. So I like leaving that one wide open. I'd agree. That is perfect even. Now we just hit. So it looks like uh, Shane is attempting the freeze. Oh, okay. Closer than that, though. It doesn't, it doesn't on the one Whoa. behind the corner guard. Yep. Again, he can't hit any of the rocks out. So it's back four, back eight. Getting another rock into no. the house. Yeah, make, that's very up. difficult no. to no. remove is a good idea. But this rock a little bit heavy. It's going to slip past the blue stone. Will it stop in time for a third yeah. shot? Does not. Yeah. That's a little bit of an error there. Okay, yeah. Uh, like here. You want me to sweep? Okay. Hold broom. Okay. Where's tolerance to hit it to get the... I don't want the double. I just want to sit. Like here. Yeah, Duncan's saying roll to the left on your screen, and that will make uh, a double very difficult. Just control. He sits yeah, right control. there. I think uh, you can make the blue-blue double, starting with the rock on the right, and then onto the one that he's just going to throw. So I think that's why he wants to roll to the left here. A little encouragement from Lauren on the way down, saying, you've got this. Well, he's made a lot of shots today. Hmm? Needs a couple more to try to prolong the game into an extra or maybe win it outright here in the eighth end. This rock's starting to curl quite early. Yes, hard Duncan, yeah. Roll the other way. Yeah, you're rolling. Roll. It's not oh, going to get the roll down. to the left, but that's okay. Not an easy double. Yeah, there's not an easy double. Sorry, touched okay. it in. That'd be very thin. I was like, oh, no, I'm touching it. Okay, take a How are they doing for time? Everyone's still okay? Everybody still looks okay. Yeah, Lauren and Shane, they've caught up a little bit in the last Four. couple ends, so I don't expect any of the teams to get into time trouble. And I can't help but have a peek over at some of the other sheets. A lot of close games out there. 
But our focus is on sheet three. Shane Connings looking for a quiet hit and flop on top. Looks close. I think he needed to curl just a little bit here. There's the hit, a little bit of a flop, but not quite enough. Wanted to roll another foot and a half right in front of the other blue stone. Makes the jam much more likely. Yeah, same weight. Yeah. Okay. So Duncan's going to throw the hit. He wants to stick this to lie three. He will be tired after this game. <laughs> he looks a little bit tired. Yeah. The good news is there's no more games today. He'll get to rest up for tomorrow. He does roll over to the middle of the rings, but uh, this does leave a double here. No. Well. Needs to be a bit careful because it might jam on that yellow stone on the back of the rings. So we'll throw this turn. Okay. Do you want to sweep? I think he's looking at it, the thin double now. Slash it over the top. Shoot it out to the right. Shoot that top stone. And then have his shooter roll over. That would be a great shot if you can execute it. Catching it on the thin side is a little bit more difficult to get all the rocks to move out, but certainly that's the way to not jam it. I think he'd be happy just with a sh with the double right here. Yes. Without a jam. That's right, because right now they're looking at three blue stones, and three, if this stays this way, would mean a victory for the young team. So, Shane. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of weight on this one. I think it's over curled the over the top shot, jams it. Yellow sitting second shot, blue like first and third. Fine. Yeah, I like nose. Just nose? Yeah, what way? Okay. There. Same way you've been throwing. Yeah. So this is Duncan's last shot in the eighth end. No. And he's looking for the hit and stick again. Yeah, try to keep line three. Lauren will then probably try to take on the double if that happens. There definitely will be a double if you hit and stick. Not a lot of places to roll that would prevent a double, actually. Not much handle. He's a little No. no. A little bit. A touch curl. wide. A little curl. bit wide. A Needs little wide on the curl. rails. Yeah. Yeah. Will it stick around? Yes. Rolls it to the corner. That's actually a pretty good roll. It's a great roll. I think so. Now, big decision time for Lauren. Even if you just tap it a little bit, it's not bad. Yeah, but they have to make it, like, we're sitting three. Yeah. Cool. So, like, just... Oh, I threw mine here. If they tap it at all, I can thin... Like, so, like, Jason, like, I, so I think she's indicated that she wants to come and do the freeze yeah, to the okay. one in the uh, just behind the corner. Again, it's a very precise shot. If she bounces off, there will be a hit for the win. And you have to stay shot rock. You can't overcurl either. You have to sit second shot. They still have to make it, but yeah. Well, I think the tension's building here. Blue on the cusp of maybe pulling off a victory here. A comeback victory in the eighth end, sitting three right now in the rings. And they're only down to one minute. They do have one timeout oh, yeah. left, so. I think they use their time. Yep. They're good. Should be a really good week. But I don't think they'll be in any time trouble. I think they are made the decision and they're going to throw the rock. I think we can finish it, so like it's better to hold okay. it straighter. Okay, center line? Yeah, like, if anything, just a hair this side. Okay. Okay, the last rock for yellow, thrown by Lauren well, Wasilski, she is on its way. Yeah, she needs a good one here to try to save this end. Facing three. Five. Freezing against a loss They're here right now. Whoa. Out of her hand. 
Must be a little bit on the heavy side. It needs to curl here. They're not touching it at all. No. And if this slips through, Abby won't even need to throw the last stone. And it is slipping through. And what a finish. It is a win for the young kids. We have some happy parents here. <laughs> Unbelievable finish there. Taking advantage of the power play, pretty much executing a perfect power play. That was a perfect end by uh, Duncan and Abby. Yeah, to take three in the final end, comes back to win this game in eight, and uh, they are the real deal. They didn't, uh, they didn't fluke out that close game this morning. So that leaves them both with a record of one and one after uh, this would be the end of the day for them. So they have to start their day out tomorrow at nine o'clock and uh, both teams uh, will be looking for their second win. Yeah, three games for both of those teams tomorrow. We still have one more draw of curling to go tonight. 9 p.m. will be our start uh, will be our start time for that draw. Well, Catherine, what made the difference here? Really, both teams played very well. I yes, it's hard to say what went wrong. It was just a little miss here and there on both sides. But both teams played extremely well. Well, the final score is 7-6, to six, and that brings us to the end of our 6 p.m. draw coverage of the Curl On Provincial Mixed Doubles Curling Championships. On behalf of Catherine, Curl On on the entire TSL crew, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again at 9 p.m.